machine is powered up. It has a glowing square next to it. This is called a power square. Now, the area of the power square shows how much power is being delivered to the machine. The smaller the square, the less power it has, and the slower it runs. Okay, so another one of these puzzles, and hopefully this has now brought the player's attention. So let's just figure out where we need to go. We need to go up there, along there. So it brought their attention to these squares that glow next to the machines. And you can see that they're nice and big when you've just got one thing attached. But when you get two things in series, they're smaller. To get this one up and that one up. And now that one needs to come down. So in this one, let's just get to a terminal so we can see what's going on. So we're here. We've got to get up along here. So we've got to get this platform up and then out through the top. But we can't get from down here <laughs> to up there. We have to sort of go round, which means that this one needs to be down in order for us to get round. But we need to open up this one. So that and now we want this one to come down and that one to go up right. yes we, we need it to come down but we need it to go up again when we flick this so what we can do is put them both in line with a switch so now when we flick it so we can we can get past here we flick the switch while we're down here we flick it manually and that lets us get past here and get up and out. do that properly then people live on after they die. Most people seem to think that they can live on by passing their genes on to their children. You never have any kids. I mean, my genes aren't me, are they? They've been knocking around the human gene pool for millennia. And even if we had had kids, in a couple of hundred years, my genes would have been so diluted that Genetically speaking, it would be like I never existed. What persists? Knowledge. Knowledge. Knowledge doesn't get diluted. Once it gets up here, it forms a foundation. And on that foundation, you can build more knowledge. And eventually, you can build a tower up to the sky. Okay, so here's another one with two machines and a switch. So let's see, we need to get up here 
up this ladder. We need to open this door. So we can get through here, but then we need to we need to get out through this way. So what we're going to need to do is get this platform up so that we can get and flick the switch and when the switch when we flick the switch that platform needs to stay up so we can get back and then jump down here but this needs to have come down by that point so effectively we need both of these things to be powered initially let's get to the switch and then we need to the switch to keep this one powered but unpower the door okay, so the way to think about this then is that this one always needs to be powered but then um, we either just connect right back to the um, fuel cell or we go via this thing so uh, so a better way to wire this, something like this. Okay, so here's both things powered. And there's just one thing powered, so that's what we want. Okay, so now this seems like a fairly simple puzzle. We've just uh, got to get across here and out through the uh, through the sort of roof opening. However, if we just connect up the platform, what we find is it goes all the way up to the top, and we don't have time to get round and catch it before it's gone. So this is a the first proper timing puzzle and basically we need to activate it from a switch in order to get there in time. So you see, if Melissa and I are going to have a legacy, it's going to be built on knowledge. And that's what this whole school's all about. I just couldn't run it like a normal school, not on my own. Damn teachers. <laughs> yeah, well. It's not the teachers, is it? It's me. I'm not very organised, you see, and um, I was never very good with people. Not adults, anyway. That's why I built the machines. I mean, they're not ideal, but you know, they do the job. That's why you're here, isn't it, Melissa? Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on me. Make sure it's done on time. Yeah. I will finish it. I'm going to make you proud. Uh, all right, we need to get past here. Fairly straightforward, and then we have another one of these switch-based timing puzzles. Um, so if we just connect this up and try and get round, we're not going to get there in time. We need to do it via this, and we don't want this connected up because otherwise it's going to go up uh, and block us. It empowers and it cripples. It'll open your eyes, but are you ready for what you might see? Okay. 
Okay, so here we're going to have to come along here. So we need this door to be open around this way. We need this platform to be up so we can jump through here, then around here, up the ladder, and then make our way along these this weendy windy bit and get across here. Well, let's. We've got another platform, another terminal in the corner, so let's at least get to that. Okay, so we're going to come up here. We need this one to be up, but we need the door to be down. So let's do that. Okay, so initially this looks like a straightforward timing puzzle again. We've got a switch to activate it. And that. Oh dear, we're still too late for it. So well, let's go and have a look at the hint. Okay, so how do we slow things down? We put more things in series. So we need to use this door again, but we don't use it as a door. We just use it to slow the platform down. We still need to use the switch. Give us as much time as possible to get there. And we get there in plenty of time now. Ooh, here's a Another similar one, there's two doors we need to get through first before we do anything else. Basically we're going to come through here, up the ladder, back along here, up this ladder, past here, and here's our switch. And we've got to go all the way along here and capture this platform in order to get out of this door. So again, we're going to need to eventually slow this platform down so that we get to it in time. However, for the moment, let's just get these two uh, doors up so we can get to this first terminal. Second time to right, now I need to come along here. Actually, I don't want both of these up, but I do want one of them up. Okay, and now we need this platform to rise up very slowly. So actually we need this in series with both of these other doors for this to work. Check if that's going to do what we want. Mega, mega slowly. Forward one, just three things in series. Again, it's reinforcing how slow things go. We've got three things in series. seen that if you wire up three machines in series, they get much less power and they move much more slowly. If you try and wire up four machines in series, they get so little power that they don't move at all. You can tell this is happening because their power squares will glow yellow rather than blue. You can try it in the next room if you like. Okay, so all the rooms we've had so far have only ever had three things that can be wired up at a time. And this room has got four platforms and we just need to run all the way along and get out at the end. So <coughs> if we didn't have this knowledge about four not working, we would probably do something like this. And we can see that they are getting some power, but their power squares are all yellow saying, indicating that there is not enough power to actually make them move. 
So, what we can do though is we can activate these two and then use the switch to activate the other two. So the way to think about that is we'll get the fuel cell going straight into the switch and then that can wire up these two. The other way you can wire up the other two. You wire this to make it a bit more obvious what's going on. So we need this door open, we need this door open, and we need this door open. And ideally we'd want this door open as well, so we could just go straight up and out. But again, that would be one, two, three, four doors. So that's not going to work. So let's think about this a little bit more. What we can do is we can get these three up, and that will allow us to come around and activate the switch. And then we need to come back and then and the switch needs to activate this door. But these two middle doors also need to be up after we've done the switch. So these two middle doors need to be on whatever. So let's just connect them into the fuel cell. And then from here the switch can decide whether it goes to the left hand one or the right hand one. These three doors. This one is fairly simple. Um, basically, we need to get this platform up, get across here, and then we need that door to come up. Um, we can't just wire them both up in series because some of the wiring has already been done for us. So let's just see what the obvious thing is. Each machine has a symbol inside its power square. Now, this same symbol is shown inside the fuel cell, which is powering the machine. Try flicking this switch backwards and forwards and see the symbol in the fuel cell change depending on which machine it is powering. Okay. So we can see that there's the uh, strange uh, circle with two little ears and then if I flip the switch and the symbol in the fuel cell changes to the Square with two lines. Uh, <laughs> I think they're, uh, they're zodiac signs. Is that uh, Gemini? I'm not sure. anyway. 
So we can see in the fuel cell that the symbol changes depending on which machine is being powered. 